What is going on? We got Courtney in the house. Tell them hi, Courtney. Hello. How have we uh, not did a rock ball test on, on the buck 110? <laughs> I don't either. Check this out, though. Uh, Big Brown Bear stopped by, and he uh, I was on the Mule AEBL video. I believe that knife belonged to Mitch Bowley, and we tested it once. Uh, on this HR one fifty eight machine, and uh, and he pointed out that you know it takes more than one poke to get an average, and that is correct. We know that. Um, you know, in order to be able to get an average, you have to have multiple numbers, right? But most people don't like their knives poked five, six times in order to be able to get that average. Today, we're going to do a little bit of testing. First of all, we're going to make sure our machine is still calibrated at sixty three. That is our calibration block number. It's 63, so that's the number we're looking for. It's been a little bit since we've used the machine, so it may actually not be calibrated. Um, as we've explained in several other videos, there's a lot to take into place whenever, or a lot to consider. You know, a lot of things, a lot of elements go into place. Uh, the temperature in the room needs to be 70 degrees. The temperature of the block needs to be 70 degrees. The temperature of the knife needs to be 70 degrees. Like 70 degrees is just kind of like you're, you're uh, your best opportunity to get the most accurate number. We are at 63. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, right? Uh, okay, so, uh, and just for uh, clarification, that is a 63 HRC block. Uh, it does have a tolerance, but we're doing the best we can with the best that HRC can give us to work with, or Rockwell scale. I'm gonna put this block back in here. To give a little bit of elevation. We have lots and lots of opportunities and flats on the spine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to poke it like five times and we're going to see if the average, how much the average it's is off from the, the first, from the first poke. Take. Okay. That'll be the goal here. Do you want to take a stab at it, Courtney? This is 420 HC. It's buck. You know, it's a budget knife. Um, before you take a stab at it, let me tell you that the factory edge was impressively sharp for what it is. But it, it didn't, quickly. yeah, it dulled very quickly. Now, once I got past that factory edge, this edge actually did just about as good as my Benchmade 940 on my on a very similar edge. So, like, that's S30V, just a regular old plain Jane mm -hmm. uh, Benchmade 940. Uh, I don't know what the Rockwell is, but I was, you know, I think, I think it took me about a month to dull it out. I'm going to say 55. 55. I'm going to give it a little bit more credit than that. I'm going to go 58. Okay. And now uh, this is going to be the closest to the number. Right. Not not a without going over type yeah. of thing. Okay. First poke. Looks like you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> According to that, uh, you know, you, you can't really go by that, though. We've seen some uh, crazy shit happen. All right. 59 and a half. Okay, so uh, 59 and a half. This is the 125th anniversary uh, buck, but it does not have a, a ball seat treat or it doesn't advertise to. So, you know, it's just this is just a, a standard right, 420 right HC. So it's 59.5. You're going to be writing down there. <clears throat> oh. I am hungry. I've got to be hungry. My stomach's going to get all hear that. Probably not. Uh, it may have. That one was loud. That was loud. 59 and a half. All right. No, no, that's 59. 59. Okay. Straight up and down. So it's 59 and a half, 59. Courtney, don't feed me. Her leftovers in the refrigerator. I'm a grown man. I can get my own food, huh? That's right. I cooked it last night. You can go heat it up for today. There we go. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about. Some sweet potatoes and some sliders. Man, some sliders are badass. Yeah. And some zucchini. Actually sounds good. I don't know about the zucchini part. <laughs> I think that was dehydrate you. 60. So this will be the fourth mm -hmm. poke. And 
if if we are uh you know we got a five poke average uh, right now and three pokes we got a 59 and a half a 59 and a 60 for an average of 59 and a half which is what our first poke was yep 61 yep 61 slide it over a little bit more let's bear our fifth final poke We both like undershot it though, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, yeah, and, and I can't remember what that Buck Strider was with the iron wood scales. I think that was a R W L or A W L, uh, something other thirty four. It was one of the thirty four yeah. steels, very similar to one fifty four cm. But this is four twenty. Right? This is four twenty. Fifty eight and a quarter. You just call it fifty eight if you want to. Well, I average one two five. Do I, know? I said I did a rope point two five. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's uh, that's our five pokes. Let's get our average. You got your phone back here? No. Nope. We'll pause it. I said it was the hundred twentieth, uh, hundred twenty fifth anniversary. It's the hundred twentieth anniversary, right there. You got the buck one ten, and on the opposite side, we'll be able to see all the test spots. So we have our first poke. Was 59 and a half. Our second poke, which was uh, 59. Our third poke, right under it, was 60. Uh, one. I can't remember. Um, yeah. Okay. Third yeah. poke was 60. Fourth third. poke was 61. Okay, 61. And then fifth poke was 58.25. So down here closer to the edge is 58.25. Sorry. And there's our average. And our average is 59.55. And uh, not saying big brown bear is wrong. Like, you know, but the, it's right at it. Yeah, it's right at the average on this one. So with right. five pokes on this knife in this in this uh, scenario, yes, you know, uh, I'm sure there's going to be scenarios where taking an average uh, will greatly different from the first poke. Right. In this instance, our our first average is fifty nine point five five, yeah. um, which in our first poke was fifty nine point five. So not not off by much, but we did see a very yes. you know var variance of numbers there. It's like you know if we just took one number. And it happened to be 60 or we just took one number and it happened to be 58 then we would have still been off by you know three points from the highest reading three points from the highest reading what was our highest reading 61 61, 61 yeah. and it's 59 and a half point and a half well i was talking going from the 58 oh 58 60. okay yeah yeah so there's a three point variance there 58 yeah. to 61 yeah mm -hmm. so yeah i mean he's he's definitely not wrong we see the value right. in the average uh, but uh, in this instance, we got lucky. All right, man. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you. You got anything else to say? Nope. Catch you on the flip side.